privacy series um, where we're going to talk about passwords today, where we're going to be keeping people out of your business. Let's keep everyone out of your business using passwords. And how are we going to do that? Today we're going to be talking about that. Um, how many people use passwords? Everyone does. Everyone uses passwords. You know, it's, it's important keeping things private. So let me ask you something. Does this look all too familiar? You're probably what? What? I don't see what the problem is. Well, let's, let's just let's start pointing out where the problem is. It's right there, ladies and gentlemen, right there. That password right on your PC. Yes, right there. Um, that's actually is my my laptop, but I do not actually do that. Um, it that was a fake password. Um, <laughs> um, honestly, I don't keep my passwords like that. I um, don't do that. That's that's something I actually saw on uh, through a lecture in one of my classes. He actually went to a seminar where he was getting his checked in at the seminar and someone actually did that where they had their password written down right on their laptop and he snapped a photo of it and during his lecture that he gave he was a keynote speaker he posted that up on his lecture for everyone to see he was actually not invited back to that <laughs> that series again um, but needless to say it's it's this is a huge no-no especially in the security world um, is to not post your um, passwords on your computer um, okay let's go on to the next slide so how do we uh, create passwords um, make it creative enough to keep people out of it but make it simple enough for you to remember it when I reset passwords I tell people make it really easy make it really easy um, you know 8 to 16 characters but also mix it up a little bit Add a few characters, you know, symbols. Add a symbol, an at symbol, an exclamation point. Add some numbers at the end. You know, add a zero one, zero two, zero three. Do not mix two numbers together. So if you get to, you know, started with a zero one, zero two, zero three. When you get to one zero and you go to the next number, do not go to eleven. Go to from one zero to one or one two or when you get to two one go to two three you know so you can keep those numbers going so if you let's say you go lazy dog like you see on the screen right here you go lazy dog at zero one at zero two at two one at two three keep it simple but keep it encrypted I you know a lot of people call this leet speak that you see on the screen there the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog a lot of people didn't know this 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 phrase on here that's using every letter in the alphabet no you can't actually type that in some things because some companies only allow you to only use so many characters um, I recommend trying to create a password that has up to 16 characters that's if you can remember that um, there are some applications you can use LastPass is a good application to use you do have to you know you can get a free um, password uh, for it uh, free um, you can actually use it for free on your phone um, you just sign up for it you can actually pay for a premium service but needless to say that is something that you can have on your phone to keep track of your apps your phone your app your passwords for your apps um, I don't use that one um, I do actually um, alter a lot of my passwords uh, I should use LastPass but I actually use a lot of two-part authentic two-part authentications but we'll talk about that in a moment so one thing I, I recommend to a lot of my um, friends and family that have elderly family members have them keep a journal uh, if there's like a blank page in an old older book that you know they have in their library keep all that some passwords written down in the back of a book and tuck it into their library um, you know in, in their in their bookshelf keep it hidden keep it out of sight keep it but do not keep it on a computer because if computers if their computer gets hacked that can compromise their password system um, if, if you have to don't necessarily do this this is if you have to keep passwords um, for elderly people or for family members for husbands and wives to keep passwords keep a password journal in a locked safe uh, in a safety deposit box something that you know that you're gonna need if something happens to your spouse you need to be able to keep track of those passwords so you can pay those bills and you need to be able to share that information um, keep it in a locked safe um, that you are able to go in and access those accounts that it's a fail safe this is perfectly acceptable but 
do not share those that information or where that the whereabouts of this journal um, is because if someone breaks into your house and knows where that journal is you're you're hosed um, but do not keep it on your computer I've, I've seen when I did work on people's computers I've seen them keep passwords on their computer um, the, not a good idea you know it's it's especially important for you to keep passwords if you have to write them down keep them encrypted somehow uh, write some kind of encryption in a way that only you would understand and explain that to a, sp a spouse uh, a loved one a, f a close friend um, you know you can uh, you can actually um, use LastPass and give them the, the, the key to be able to access this information but please do not keep it online whoops I'm clicking the wrong cell sorry about that there we go so there are some examples of free password generators um, so one of them is strongpasswordgenerator.com uh, I'm not going to explain to you what these are these um, these are some just examples of what you can use to be able to use and what these websites do is they'll actually generate some you know some specific if there's a certain type of uh, uh, way to be able to create a uh, certain sequence of numbers and letters and numbers that's the way to do it um, I have some website or some websites I do use where I want to be able to have that high encryption of 16 characters that don't make sense to anybody that I want to keep people out another uh, another website would be uh, digital.com forward slash password space generators Is that space no dash generators sorry about that I don't see this little uh, uh, dash right here um, um, this is just another one uh, and they give you certain criteria where you can put those symbols in there um, these are great websites to be able to use to be able to create passwords to be able to help people set up certain encrypted passwords one other one is coolgenerator.com one thing I used to recommend is people use three word passwords and I read an article recently where um, those aren't exactly the best ideas because hackers can actually crack those things in in less time through the use of algorithms and that you can actually research this online that they're using algorithms to be able to crack these passwords so if you're gonna use three words make sure you throw in a number in between some of those you know replace the E's with a three and a A's with a four to be able to throw those hackers off um, and an O with a zero it'll throw off that curve you know throw off that variable um, that's what I, I've done in the past and it, and it increases the odds of them not getting into your accounts um, so but these types of website password generators will help you a few last things replace your passwords often they highly recommend you replace your passwords about every 90 days a lot of companies enforce this every 90 days you have to replace your password a lot of companies put this into their business um, system to where every 90 days you have to replace your password the company I work for the moment you you hit 90.01 days it kicks you out of the system and you have to replace your password I highly recommend setting up a two-factor authentication uh, I use it for my twitch account I use it for work uh, I have to use it for work to get into my my um, to a couple of my accounts um, it's it's nice because I get a text it, it helps me with my Google accounts keeps those hackers out Google especially I don't want I get calls once in a while saying someone from China is trying to get into my accounts I have a VPN yes when it says someone's from from Czechoslovakia is trying to get in yeah that's me because I, I will sometimes use European v VPNs to access my accounts if it's if it's a particular um, you, um, IP address that I'm using yes I know it's me but when I use the two-part authentication I'll know it's me because I verify my VPN I verify that that's the IP address that I'm using and I'll let myself go in never share your password with anyone anyone unless it's someone you absolutely trust a spouse a loved one a family member a child um, a relative and one last thing employees from a company will never email you or call you asking you for your password 
They will never call you. Um, I've, I've t always told this to my, co my employees that I've worked working in IT for the last several years. I've never asked them for their password. I don't care what their password is. I've, I've worked with them directly where I'll ask them for their password so I can help them get into their account. But then I will reset their password to, I will give them a temporary password to help them reset their password so that way they can get into it themselves. With that being said, be safe. Have a great rest of the day. Stay safe out there, folks, and I'll be back next week.